On this episode, we get two ridiculous questions, long-winded, intense answers, and it ends up being one of the best Ask Gary B shows ever. So, real quick, I'm just gonna convert into Chin Man. Chin Man's got a couple things to say. Number one, I got serious love for all of you. Chin Man is super, super into you guys. <laughs> oh you like that? I love it. You love Chin Man? I love it. Chin Man's fucking awesome. <laughs> Chin Man's super happy. Real, oh, look at this. Black Coffee giving you a what's up, D-Rock. Hey. I didn't realize how cool you were, D-Rock. <laughs> Chin Man just wants to say, put in your phone numbers right now. We're doing an Ask Gary Vee show. Um, <laughs> I'm super excited about it, giving you guys huge love because I love you. And uh, put, in your, um, put in your phone numbers right now. We're doing an Ask Gary V show. What's up everybody? Ask Gary V, <laughs> the Instagram Live uh, edition. Uh, put in your phone numbers right now, Instagram Live. I'm on Instagram Live. If you're not following me on Instagram, if you don't have your notifications on, huge mistake, Ask Gary V peeps. Put in your phone numbers right now. If you've got a question for me, I'm gonna start calling them and uh, answering your questions. Um, that's how we're gonna do it. D-Rock's gonna try to do this while I sit here and yap with you guys. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of numbers. I can answer some little quick questions here as well while I'm with you. Numbers are coming, not, they're not here yet, Doran. Put in your phone number. If you have a question, I will call you and, um, and let's do it. So, there you go, I just pinned you, that's cool. I pinned you, I pinned the phone number there for you, D-Rock. See it? You didn't hit a one first? It worked without it? Here we go. You want me to hold that? Mm hmm. Hello? Hello, Chance? Oh my God, this is Mondo. Mondo, how are you? How the fuck are you? Oh, well, sorry. Don't worry. I think you know I call. I curse, so Mondo, it's no worries. Uh, damn, damn, what question should I ask? Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Mondo. Didn't you hear that I said, if you have a question to ask, put your phone number. Did you just no, put I your phone number? I'm going to put it in my corner. But that's fine, that's fine. We'll do, we'll, we'll do the first question of mine. Let's do it. Uh, what, what advice could you give someone trying to cope with the struggle of making things happen? I guess, uh, you know, someone who missed it all and is currently combating everything that's being thrown at them, trying to make the dream happen. So what? So what's? Uh, so what? So let's talk about it. What? What's? What's? Be, what's being thrown at you? Uh, I guess uh, <laughs> if I'm being honest, uh, I I took I took uh, I quit my job to take on part time work so that I could focus on on uh, working on more music and more concert. And <clears throat> I guess I found myself back working sooner than I thought. So I'm dealing with the financial stuff. Right. So let's also talk about this because this make it happen. Yeah. So this is yeah. super exciting for me because I talk a lot about like quitting school, quitting your job, doing your dream. You're saying you went and made that leap, right? Yeah. And yeah. L- and you're to you. <laughs> right. So you've listened to me. You made the le- you hated your job, right? You didn't like it. Um, I I liked it, but it wasn't what I was trying to do. Understood. And I'm tired of making the excuses. Of, oh, I'll eventually start doing what I and, want to and do. And how and how old are you? Uh, 27 now. Perfect. This is fucking perfect, Mondo. I'm so excited right now. Okay, so you're 27, right? You you just you know you've been listening to my stuff. You're at that perfect age right now where you've lived kind of the life that you thought you had to to like you'll eventually get to your dream because you're young and time is on your side, paying yeah. your bills, living your life. And you said, fuck it. I'm motivated. Let me try to actually do my music thing. Let me bounce. Let me try to do some side hustles to keep my head above water. But but now you're like, now it's like, oh shit, it sounds great to go live your dream, but the reality of it is it's actually really hard, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Hell okay. Yeah. I knew it was going to be hard. I know you did. Is it... Keep going. Uh, no, so I guess, uh, I, guess uh, I don't know. I, just some advice on, on keeping the head above water. I, I'm also doing that like, whole hustling thing. I'm huge on Craigslist Street. Before you started mentioning it, which is why I love why you mentioned it now. 
Have you been? Um, do, have you been doing? Wait, real quick. Have you been doing well on the Craigslist free thing? Uh, yeah. Do you do the fast? You go fast here in New York, like. Yeah, you email somebody and 20 minutes later they don't have it anymore. So, I love it. Uh, we gotta, you got to be on it. That's, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, real quick. So when you say keep your head above water, and this is you're going to do a real, real service for a lot of people watching right now. There's two ways to keep your head above water. There's the financial, and there's the yeah. emotion, and there's the emotional yeah, and, and mental. Even, and I don't even mean the financial so much because, like I said, like as long as you hustle, hustle, you can keep your head above water in the financial. But it's more of the. Uh, the emotional. You so know, let's like, talk. Uh, let's now. Let's. Yeah, I love it. Example, I work at my job. And Mondo. You have an idea how hard. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep doing your thing. Do your thing. Oh no, no. I mean, you know, like I quit my job and explain that to my parents. Like my parents are immigrants. They didn't understand uh, and stuff like that. So it's hard to to find help when not everybody believes in what you're trying to do. I so, guess. so that's right. So it's, it's, it's honestly, really Mondo. Honestly, honestly, it's a it's like a plinko board, right? Like so. Like keeping your head above water or like getting through the toughness comes in the financial part and comes in like the, you know, like the emotional part, right? Like it comes in and then in the, since you have skills of buying and selling, hustling, you're not fancy, you're willing to go on Craigslist and, and, and you know, make up 20 bucks here, 50 bucks here, take a side job, I love that about you. You're actually, you're actually very lucky because that part's actually difficult. A lot of people don't know how to make money and aren't good at that. But the fact that you've got that down, okay, now we're good. Now, now the part where you're struggling on the head above water is, we're just gonna use this purple to showcase the water. Keeping your head above water, just having a little fun here. Keeping your head above water comes in two ways, emotionally, right? Yours and theirs, right? So, yeah. so most people struggle with self-doubt, right? They got bad parenting, they don't believe in themselves. In their own head, they suck, they can't do it. And so that's in, you, in the yours category. I don't get that sense from you. I get, I get the sense that your problem, your, your need right now is how to solve the emotional part on the theirs side of things, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Now okay, let's I'm let's sure. let let's list let's list who's on the their side. Your parents, right? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> who else? Who um, else do you give a fuck about say, that uh, says you're an idiot? I guess, you know, I have responsibilities. Like I have, you know, my family's who I'm responsible to. I guess you could say. Wait, and, wait, wait, um, wait, 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 wait. After parent, did you just say I have responsibilities like my car payment? No, 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 no. no. My, 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 my roommate. My people oh, who your I have roommates. responsibilities too. But like, that's but you uh, said but that's on the money side. You said that you've got that you can figure uh, out. I guess I guess you're saying like the money side. Yeah. Okay. Um, but real quick, real quick, real, well, hold on, hold on. Let's play this out. Are your roommates worried since you don't have a job? They're saying to themselves, "Oh shit, he might not be able to make rent." Well, no, no, no. I guess I, should, I guess I should mention that like my roommates are also like my closest friends and like my my business partners too and stuff and my endeavors. So it's kind of like it's it's more in that sense than the financial roommate stuff. And then, uh, and then, cause I guess like my, my girlfriend, my partner. Uh, of course, girlfriend very, matters. Just, yeah, exactly. Um, but it's, more, it's really just that. I, I keep my circle tight, so to speak. Does your girl, is your girlfriend worried? Uh, she wasn't worried in the beginning, but yeah, we could say that she's worried now. And is she worried because she wants stuff or she's worried because she's worried long, no, no, long she's term? Worried, no, she's worried about like worried about me long term, yep. uh, making sure that this all works out. Um, nothing, nothing. She's not. She's not the fancy so type help, either. So help me here. Help me here. Would I be right in saying that eighty percent of your energy that's tough is mainly focused on your parents? Uh, yeah, yeah. You could say that. Is that right? Don't, 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 Dude, it's always that, right? Like, the, like that makes so much sense to me. The fact that you've got your money down, you've got you've got your own mentality down. Your girlfriend and your homies are supportive enough to keep you going. If the only thing that's dragging you in this big risk that you took is their parents, you have to understand how this plays out. Somebody's gonna be right and somebody's gonna be wrong, but either way, they're gonna always love you, and you can't do something with them that much in mind because eventually you're gonna resent them and that's gonna be way worse than them being worried right now. Yeah, 
No, that, that's for sure. I mean, bro, you have to understand, if you wake up at 34 and, you're not, and you didn't pull it off, well then at least you never have to worry about did you have it. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, of course. That's why I took the lead to begin with. Uh-huh. On the day to day, on the day to day, you have to start loving, you have to do this. To get to the ultimate place, you have to start loving the adversity and the, and the pushback instead of hating it. That's the key. Yeah, and I think that's I think that's what uh no, I think that's what I'm that's what I'm combating with is uh is the acceptance. Are you sure that this isn't worth it? Did you are you look ready? Like I've had people ask me to look ready, and it's a constant no. Brother, you brother, you you're getting asked by people that do you regret it that are playing defense in life. Yeah, yeah. You, you, have to, you bro, you don't understand. You've already won, Mondo. You've already done something that 95% of people don't do. You've tried. Yeah. Now, brother, yeah, I have yeah. no idea if you're fucking good at this music thing or whatever the fuck you're up to. Like that. I don't w- think so. Let me tell you this though. That's gonna play out. Just promise me this: at 33, if you don't, if you don't, you know, succeed, don't come up with excuses. Don't say it was you got passed over or you got fucked. Like the market is the market. Be happy yeah. that you tried, and that's the win. That's what this is all about, bro. Like, you've got to try, and if you're good enough, awesome. And if you're not, awesome. But the fact that you've tried puts you in rarefied air. Awesome. Brother, here's what that's, I would say. Ready? Here's where my mind's at. Tomorrow you get yeah. upset. Like, right now you're on a high. We talked. You're going to feel good, right? Cool. Yeah, 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 next yeah. Thursday, <laughs> next Thursday, if you're like, oh, fuck, like somebody backed out of something or somebody said your shit was whack or, yeah. or you're stressing on money, here's where you have to go. Number one, you've got to get inside your own head and just think about, here's how I think about it. Like, it's really just like, fuck them. Like, like it really is, man. Like, like you have to live yeah. for you. You have to, at 27, live for you if you're curious to see if you've got it. Yeah. Like, right. you've ar- you have to realize you've already won. You have to feel sorry for everybody. Do you understand what happens to me if a friend said to me, do you regret it? Literally in my head I would say, uh, I feel so bad for DRock. <laughs> like, but, but I mean that. Like, you have to look at them with pity. Like, I fucking, yeah. I fucking respond to people dragging me down or hating on me or, or leading the question to negativity with pity. Yeah, because you pity there. Brother, if my buddy was like, do you regret it? I'd be like, no, I would regret it if I worked at Goldman Sachs. By the way, my buddy would be working at Goldman Sachs if he asked me that question. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, spit yeah. fire with fire. All right, cool. Damn, this is, this is a great conversation. I wasn't expecting this either. Only from that 60-second club. Never got lucky, but thank you so much. You got real fucking lucky, because guess what? This is way better than a fucking t-shirt and signed <laughs> book. That what? Oh, this fucking awesome, man! You made points about uh, downloading it offline, but it's not offline, online anywhere. What's that? Uh, no, because you're always talking about how you can't buy it, torrent it, and I'm like, all right, you know, you're oh my book, I'm buying it when I have it. It, it, it's nowhere to be found, so I'll, you know. I'll say, well, first of all, that's crazy to me. That means everybody's giving me some serious love. Second of all, yeah, yeah. send me send me an email. I'll send you a copy. Thank you so much. Appreciate the conversation. You got it, brother. Good luck to you. Brother, listen to me. Your parents love you, and, yeah. and either they'll love you either way, or your parents are broken, which I doubt, because they're just immigrants and they see it one way. Yeah. For everybody who's listening, your parents love you, and they'll be there when you fail, or your parents are broken, and emotionally broken, they're sick, and you need to limit your interaction with them anyway. Either way, going for it is the right move. Your parents will respect you more that you went for it than listening to them deep down. And quitting. Anybody, yeah. anybody who treats their kids as a property or an indication to who they are are losers. If your parents aren't supporting you because they're embarrassed amongst their friends, they're fucked up. If they're not supporting you because they're scared and they love you and they're just scared because that's their DNA, then you're yeah. set because they'll be there when you fail or they're gonna be your biggest cheerleaders when you win. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 for sure, for sure. And I, and I, and I did see that cut it a little, a little bit, but yeah, it is what it is. It is what, brother, I know you love them, I can tell, and I love my parents, <laughs> but at the end of the day, my parents are way more proud of me now that I've went out on my own no, and fucking, like, dude, and if yeah, I lost, sure. they're, they're, listen, you can't live your fucking life for anybody else, including your parents. 
or, or anybody, yeah, exactly. No, no, but it's easy no, no. to fucking say, but the reason you're, the reason you're trying to keep, you're not, you're not keeping your head above water, you're actually living life. It's a decision to quit uh, for myself. Exactly. Uh, I knew it wasn't going to be easy and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, Brother, sure. nothing good is easy. Yeah, nothing good comes easy. I mean, I started this one my last two days ago. Hey, all right, this is awesome. Listen I'm to me. Send you this email. Yeah, send, Gary at VaynerMedia, send me an email. But listen, it's binary. I'm not looking for you to be hyped right now and peacocking. Oh, no. I'm worried about next Thursday. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay, awesome. got Thursday. you. We'll See you. Thanks. Good. You got a number? Yeah. All right, I'm going to talk to everybody. We got deep there with Mondo. Mondo was perfect for me because what happened there is he's living the life so many of you are debating, right? Like so many of us are debating, right? Like what do we do? Like where are we going? How are we doing it? Can I take this leap? Can I afford it? And there's a lot of scenarios of this. Like you know, some people like Mondo are worried about their parents and it's a loving thing which is awesome. Other people are living too fancy of a lifestyle and don't realize that they shouldn't renew their rent and they should go down $3,000 a month instead of up $2,000 a month. There's just a million different ways. Gary! Yes, how are you? I'm amazing. What's your name? It's awesome to actually finally talk to you. Yes, I can hear you. Great, what's your name? Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany. Darbin. It's such a pleasure, Tiff. Where are you from? Um, originally from Northern California, but I'm in SoCal Station at Camp Pendleton. I love it. How can I help you? Um, you know what? I just chimed in. I'm not even sure what the topic is. Okay, well the topic is you ask me a question and I answer it. Okay. Um, so, alright, so I'm, I'm stationed here at Camp Pendleton. I've been in the Marine Corps for about 11 and a half years. I'm kind of at that crossroad where, hey, do I, do I write it out to, you know, retirement or because of my, basically my ambition level, there's a lot of limitations. There's a lot of limitations you, you know, as to where you I can tip, go, what I can tip. do. Tiff, you, re- you already told me the answer. You know the answer. There's no way you know who I am and there's no way that you state the first question in that form. You've already mentally and through your heart have shifted into the next chapter. First of all, thank you so much for what you've done for this amazing country. Second of all, it's now time for you to follow. You clearly want to do something else. You know that. Yes. Yeah. There's 0% um, of you that wants to see this out and retire, correct? I, I would like to do it for the fact that it's an accomplishment. You know, I would hate to walk away from it and say, you know, I, I did 14 years because that would be the end of the contract uh, that I'm currently on. Walk away from it and say, oh, what, you know, six more years I could have, you know, I could have walked away with, you know, retirement because I sacrificed a lot to get to this point. Um, you know, I'm a single tip, parent. I got tip, three kids. Tip. Also, the number think about as well. the number one mistake that people make is they make decisions about their future based on what they did in the past. Okay. You just told me you're running a race that you're no longer as passionate about and since you've ran most of it, you're just gonna actually spend the next 10 years of your life running that race. My concern is that you're doing that for a certain part of financial freedom that intuitively I wonder, you have to answer for yourself, are you gonna be happier in a decade riding that out or Will that hang over your head for the rest of your life of what if and what you could have done for the next 10 years? Right. Right. It's, that's true. Um, Can I ask you a question? I, I, I was, yes, please. Could you leave, try, and then come back and get the benefits? Do they allow that? Um, it, would be, it would be a really long race to come back. Um, to get out and then try to come back in. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, I've, I, I've honorably served, so I could ride out and then, you know, do like a active, like a reserve you your head. Um, component. You're like throwing um, it Where I'm like halfway in, but it take a lot longer to retire. Um, but there, I mean, I know that there's a lot of options. I think it's just the, you know, the, the inability to have the flexibility that I need to be able to do the, the you know, next level stuff, the, the side hustle, right? You know, uh, the, the extra stuff to where I can make my side hustle into something that was actually my hustle. You know, something that, like you said, passionate, that you're passionate about, that you wake up every day going, you know, this is, this is the next level stuff and then hey, once tip? I get comfortable there, then take yeah. it to the next level because hey, it's never good to be comfortable. Can I ask you how old you are? 31. You know, so let's play this out a little bit. Are you telling me that, that you can 
you can spend the next 10 years in the military and leave at 41 with a really good financial situation because you've served honorably for so long that puts you in a good spot? The, uh, having the retirement wouldn't, you know, obviously you can't completely live off that. I'll still have uh, at least one, at least one in, under the, under my roof yep. um, at that, at that point. time. Yep. Um, so look, but, uh, I mean look, you're... I would definitely still have to work. I'd right. still have to work. I'd have to work on something else. Man, this is, you know, look, I'll be honest with you, this is a win-win situation. I think both will work, right? I really do. Here's why. If you decide to go 10 years, you're a baby. You'd literally be, you'd literally be a year younger than I am right now when you get out. And if I told you okay. how, how young that is, it would make your head spin. Basically the same exact way you feel young now, you'll feel at 41. I'm telling you that right now. So that's, okay. that's interesting. Um, Number two, the fact that it doesn't create this massive you know, lottery event where it's like super easy and you're pensioning for 60 years. If you're gonna have to work right. anyway, then there's a really good argument for you to you know, bounce and do it now. Tiff, can I, can I tell you something that really works for my life that I'm, I wanna tell you right now that I think might work for yours? Okay. They're both right. That's why it's hard. That's why I'm at the fork in the road. <laughs> no, I actually think... I know no matter what. I actually think people think... No matter that, what. No, Tiff, I think a fork in the road is when you think one road is good and one road's not. Oh, I'm optimistic. So I, I think that it's all, it's all good no matter what. I'm going to make it, you so know. Can, so I if, think a lot so, of it plays... I'm an, emotional, I'm an emotional person, so a lot of the decisions that I make are... You know, because like up. I said, I'm single parent of three, three, eight, nine-year-old. You're, 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 you have a child three, right? Animated. Yes, I have two. And and it's it's hard because like you said, you know, it's it's different, but at the same time, it's a lot the same. You know, you're gone a lot. Um, whether even if you're there, you're not really, you know, you're of not really there. Um, and and it's like you know, especially just wanting to be in their life because I had kids. I want to be able to. Well, listen. I want to raise my kids. So I listen. I don't want other people. Listen. Well then that becomes a non fuck first of all, you've made this very easy. If you think both are gonna work and one's not letting spend time with the kids, and guess what? That doesn't come back ten years from now, there's nothing to talk about here, Tiff. It's easier. Easier said than done though. No, it's, it's still not. gonna be very hard. Fucking very life, hard to, Tiff, to life reestablish. Is, life is hard. True. Tiff. Here's yeah. what, cool. You're, it's going to be financially hard, but here's a, here's what I know. I always make bets on what's guaranteed versus what's not. If you leave now and you try to build a business and a, get a job with your kids in with right now, and you get to see them all the time, you 100% see your kids, right? And if you stay the military course, you 100% don't as much, right? That's 100%. Unless the circumstances change, because the different duties, you, you know, they, they move you around a lot. So circumstances, it's really just circumstances. You're, but you're not um, in control. Like your circumstance right, can change right. for one year, it goes well, and then six months later, like, Tiff, listen, yeah, listen to me. Inconsistency listen to me. is listen. terrible. Here's what's guaranteed: if you leave, you will be with your kids, and your big thing of not missing and raising them. That's why you had them. You then accomplish the financial part. You actually don't know. That's an unknown if you can make it in the private sector the way you've done in the military sector. But you've checked the known with your kids. Either you're, like, like there's really nothing else to say. Like, you're choosing, right this minute, financial stability, it, put, excuse me, even better. You're choosing potential financial stability over being closer with your kids. You're choosing that, you understand that, right? Yep, and, and nothing comes without sacrifice. It's just a, as a matter of, you know. Here's my thing. If you're willing. To Here's sacrifice. my thing. I think it's a curious jump to sacrifice the other way, which is give up the guaranteed financial freedom at, uh, or mm -hmm. stability and try to recreate it and live even more humbly with your kids in the first couple years to try to get there, but have all that time together if that's what you do. Look, look. I don't see my kids a lot by comparison to a lot of people, but I am utterly passionate. I can't breathe without doing what I'm doing right now. Right, yeah. That's different. So it's worth it, it's worth the sacrifice. That's, a, sac back and that's, like, a, hey. that's a sacrifice I'm willing to do because I have to be the best dad to them and I can do that 
in the a lot of vacation time and the weekends. You know, everybody sees the business life. I don't share my personal life. So what do you think is happening yeah. on Saturday and Sunday? I'm leaving today at four, five, four thirty in the afternoon. That's unheard of for me in the past. Why? Because I'm choosing more time with my kids. But I'm, but I have to do what I'm doing, and I have to because I can't breathe. I would die if I was forced to not work and be Gary Vee and do VaynerMedia. I would die. I would leave my family. I would go to an island. I would die. I would shrivel. It's my, it's who I am. And so, you are. so to me, that's passion. It's not about the money. There's a lot of things I could be doing to make a lot more money. It's about the legacy and the passion. And, and you know, for me, your situation is very clear, which is you clearly want to do the kids' time. You're scared if you can figure out the financial part. But the reality is, man, I don't know. Like, fuck, live in a studio with the three of them. Let them be embarrassed that they don't have new clothes. Like, you'll never get the kids' time back. And I have a funny feeling just talking to you for five, nine minutes and 32 seconds, you'll figure out the financial part, especially if I give you three years. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I appreciate your time, Gary. I know that there's probably other callers. Um, you won't let you, We've talked before uh, on Instagram, but um, I, I definitely want to take what you said into consideration. It definitely helps me. Um, to, think, to actually reach out to somebody outside the box. A lot of the individuals I've talked to are, are in uh, the military right now, so it's kind of a you know Tiff, different perspective. Tiff, 90, I, I really not, appreciate it. 98, 99% of people play defense in life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I play offense, and let me tell you who else plays offense. LeBron James, Beyonce, the governors of our country. Like, stay-at-home moms that would do nothing else but that for their whole lives. Like, love it more than breathing. Like, the people that play offense end up being the happiness, the happiest, because they're willing to eat shit in the short term for long-term happiness. Short-term loss, long-term gain. That's it. Of course the people in the military are gonna tell you to stay. They're playing defense. They're imposing their insecurities on you. Yep, yep. And guess what's happening? While, and guess what's <laughs> happening while Rick at the military tells you, who loves it, and this is his passion, and he can't think of anything else. Every day that goes by, your kids are missing out on moments with you, and you want to have those moments, and yeah. you have other passions. If you told me serving this country is the only thing you can do, it's blindly in your blood, you can't breathe without it, this would be easy. I would tell you to do what I'm doing. That's not what you're telling me. Right. Okay. You're gonna resent the military if you stay all the way through. Just remember I said that for the rest of your life. If you stay there for the next 10 years, you will resent them because you're gonna blame that decision and that institution for missing out on all the moments your kids reference when they're older. Yeah, that's a good, that's a, definitely a different perspective on it that I hadn't really thought about. Give it some thought, I love you, good luck. Thank you Gary, you're welcome. I'll talk to you soon. When you want to oh, we're getting deep here on this episode. Those are two, why, we're running out of time? Yeah. yeah. Got to leave in a little bit? Like 35 minutes each, yeah. Alright. Keep crashing, I don't know why. We keep crashing probably because of you. Uh, <laughs> Nobody's ever crashed before. Hey everybody, uh, really awesome episode. So wait, we're supposed to, we're leaving in eight minutes? Uh, we should be leaving in five. We should be leaving in five, okay. Let's do one more. Yeah, I'm getting number. I keep crashing. I just joined you. You want to call someone else? Yeah. yeah. You know, impulse, it's, killing your ego is by deploying humility, right? Like, don't confuse ego and, uh, and confidence. Like, killing your ego is when you have no results to back up your ego. You should probably kill it because you just look like a fucking idiot. So, uh, yeah. I'd kill it by realizing that you're, what you're trying to achieve with your ego is making you look like a clown. One, one too many numbers in that. Leota, hey. Thrifters, stop playing defense then. Let's go on offense. You know, let's go. Like, that's as simple as that. YT, what up? Why are you guys so bad at this? Give, give me a, no, you don't have nothing. Give me in, give me it. Give me in, give me a number. This is the, give me the screenshot. 
Good. Well, that's a foreign number. There's more. They're all foreign numbers. No. Yeah, I don't know how the foreign numbers. That's why. Genie, you're making a huge mistake. Please leave your message for Emery Ellinger. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a good way to end the episode. Right. It is what it is. I will see you later. Ask Gary Vee Show two hardcore answers today. Uh, two massive themes that so many of you are going through. Normally, I probably would have even killed. We probably wouldn't even had this episode with only two. I'd be like, ah, what's remarkable is this episode. And leave in the comments if you agree with me on this. This episode's two answers are probably better than 90% of our episodes that have five answers. Universal truths and issues that so many of us are struggling with. Remember why I'm so passionate to go into these deeper issues of family and life? It's because the internet has unlocked the opportunities that were not practical for our parents and our grandparents so you don't believe that this is possible. It's as simple as that. See ya. You keep asking questions, we'll keep answering them.